breakfast, I really felt like a carb-heavy meal, so I cut up those potatoes, put them in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, and there they are. My second breakfast or mid-morning snack, I had two bananas and some frozen mango blended, just a touch of water, and then I ended up making a smoothie bowl out of it. I added some unsweetened coconut flakes, blueberries, and granola. I tried to make it look pretty and then just mixed it all up and ate it all. For lunch, I had a big kale salad. I just massaged some kale with lemon and then added cucumber, tomato, onion, and some walnuts. I went ahead and cut up extra onions since I knew I'd be using some later that day for dinner. And I also added some beans on top. I try to eat beans every day just because they're so good for you. It's dinner time and I'm gonna make some vegan tacos. I'm not a huge fan of fake meat, but today I decided to try the Beyond Beef. It kind of grosses me out because it's so close to the real thing, but I'm gonna try it and let you guys know how it is. I got this Beyond Beef 100% plant protein, some quinoa, Hummus, I'm gonna spread on the tortilla. I'm using Ezekiel tortilla. Some avocado. The onion I chopped up from earlier and I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes as well. Ugh, that's disturbing. <laughs> not meat, not real animal, but still kind of disgusting. I warmed my tortilla in the oven for a little bit. And then I just spread some hummus and half an avocado on it. All right, I just took the first bite of that and that was amazing. So, so good. I've been trying to film something for the past 10 minutes. I'm in my kitchen. My dog's been coughing and farting at the same time. That's when you know you have an old dog. My dog is officially 19 years old now. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my dog. I just wanted to share with you guys that I found out I had bed bugs in my apartment. If you don't know, bed bugs basically travel from place to place. And I have a lot of friends and family come in and out. And I think that somebody might have gone to a hotel before and a bed bug got on their luggage and it came into my apartment. I actually saw one in the middle of the day, which is rare because they usually come out at night. I thought it was just like a baby roach. So I actually saved it and brought it outside. The next day I found a dead one kind of in the same area. And then I freaked out. I was like, oh my God. I looked up online what a bed bug looks like and I'm like Ugh. so I called someone right away and basically right now I'm staying at my parents house thankfully I live not far basically they're gonna come and kill all of the bugs it's not very vegan of me but I'm obviously not gonna live with bed bugs if you don't know they can multiply very quickly they basically bite you during the middle of the night and suck your blood which is just disgusting so that's what's happening um, but I just wanted to share that because it's just an example of how we kind of live in an imperfect world World, and we just got to do the best we can as vegans. I used to be so terrified of bugs, especially cockroaches here in Texas. They're huge. I used to scream if I ever saw a cockroach, I would make someone else come over and get the cockroach and kill it, whatever. And now I literally try to save the roaches from my cat because she'll try to, you know, play around with them thinking it's a toy. Obviously I won't touch them, but I'll try to catch them under a cup or something and bring them outside just because the longer that I'm vegan, the more that I realize it doesn't matter if you're big or small, if you're alive, you wanna live, you feel pain. I don't wanna kill a living creature. But obviously there's certain situations like this where you just have to do what you need to do because I'm obviously not gonna live with bed bugs. I ended my night with some golden milk, which is basically a combination of turmeric, cacao powder, cinnamon, I'll write the exact ingredients down below. But turmeric is such a powerful and healthy spice. I try to get it in at least every day. I just whisk everything together in a cup of almond milk until it gets warm. I add my sweetener, which I'm using Truvia. Then I sprinkle just a little bit of black pepper because it helps you absorb the turmeric. Not a lot, you won't be able to taste it, but just a little bit. And that is it, it's pretty good and very healthy. Thank you all so much for watching, bye.